two, one. Greetings. My name is Nick Stangeroni. The same year as the Fort Sheridan Tower, standing behind me, was built, a number of Lakota warriors were brought here following the Wounded Knee Massacre. Among them was Kicking Bear. This is Kicking Bear's ghost dance speech. I bring you word from your fathers the ghost. My brothers, I bring to you the promise of a day in which there will be no white man to lay his hand on the bridle of the Indian's horse. And the red man of the prairie will rule the world and not be turned from the honey grounds by any man. I bring you word from your fathers the ghosts. They are now marching to join you, led by the Messiah who came once to live on earth with the white man, but was cast out and killed by them. I have seen the wonders of the spirit land and have talked with the ghosts. I traveled far and have sent back with the message to tell you to make ready for the coming of the Messiah and the return of the ghosts in the spring. In my teepee on the Cheyenne Reservation, I rose after the corn planting 16 months ago and prepared for my journey. I had seen many things and had been told by voice to go forth and meet the ghosts. They were to return and inhabit the earth. I traveled far in the cars of the white men until I came to a place where the railroad stopped. There I met two men, Indians, whom I had never seen before, but who greeted me as a brother and gave me meat and bread. We had three horses and we rode without talking for four days, for I knew they were to be witnesses to what I should see. Two sons had we traveled and had passed the last signs of the white man, for no white man ever had the courage to travel so far. When we saw a strange and fierce looking black man dressed in skins, he was living alone and had medicine with which he could do what he wished. He could wave his hands and make great heaps of money. Another motion and we saw many spring wagons already painted and ready to hitch horses to. Yet another motion of the hands, and there sprung before us great herds of buffalo. The black man spoke and told us that he was the friend of the Indian, and that we should remain with him and go no further. And we might take what we wanted of the money and spring wagons and the buffalo. But our hearts were turned away from the black man, my brothers, and we left him and traveled for two more days. On the evening of the fourth day, when we were weak and faint from our journey, we looked for a camping place and were met by a man dressed like an Indian but whose hair was long and glistening like the yellow money of the white man. His face was beautiful to see and when he spoke my heart was glad and I forgot my hunger and the toil I had gone through. And he said, How, oh, my children, you have done well to make this journey to come to me. Leave your horses and follow me. And our hearts sang in our breasts, and we were glad. He led the way up a great ladder of small clouds, and we followed him up through an opening in the sky. My brothers, the tongue of Kicking Bear is straight, and he cannot tell all that he saw, for he is not an orator, but the forerunner and herald of the ghosts. He whom we followed took us to the great spirit and his wife, and we lay prostrate on the ground. But I saw that they were dressed as Indians. Then from an opening in the sky we were shown all the countries of the earth and the camping grounds of our fathers since the beginning. All were there, the teepees and the ghosts of our fathers and the great herds of buffalo and a country that smiled because it was rich and the white man was not there. Then he whom we had followed showed us his hands and feet, and there were wounds in them which had been made by the whites when he went to them and they crucified him. And he told us that he was going to come again on earth, and this time he would remain and live with the Indians who were his chosen people. Then we were seated on rich skins of animals unknown to me, before the open door of the teepee of the Great Spirit, and told how to say the prayers and perform the dances I am now come to show my brothers. And the Great Spirit spoke to us, saying, Take this message to my red children 
and tell it to them as I say it. I have neglected the Indians for many moons, but I will make them my people now if they obey me in this message. The earth is getting old, and I will make it new for my chosen people, the Indians, who are to inhabit it, and among them will be all those of their ancestors who have died, their fathers, mothers, brothers, cousins, and wives, all those who hear my voice and my words through the tongues of my children. I will cover the earth with new soil to a depth of five times the height of man, and under this new soil will be buried all the whites, and all the holes and rotten places will be filled up. The new lands will be covered with sweet grass, and running water and trees, and herds of buffalo and ponies will stray over it, that my red children may eat and drink, hunt and rejoice. In the sea to the west I will fill up so that no ships may pass over it, and the other seas will I make impassable. And while I am making the new earth, the Indians who have heard this message, and who dance and pray and believe, will be taken up in the air and suspended there, while the wave of new earth is passing, then set down among the ghosts of their ancestors, relatives, and friends. Those of my children who doubt will be left in undesirable places, where they will be lost and wander around until they believe and learn the songs and the dance of the ghosts. And while my children are dancing and making ready to join the ghosts, they shall have no fear of the white man, for I will take from the white man the secret of making gunpowder, and the powder they now have on hand will not burn when it is directed against the red people, my children, who know the songs and dances of the ghosts. But that powder which my children, the red man, will have, will burn and kill when it is directed against the whites and used by those who believe. And if a red man die at the hands of the whites while he is dancing, his spirit only will go to the end of the earth, and there join the ghosts of his father and return to his friends in the spring. Go then, my children, and tell these things to all the people, and make ready for the coming of the ghosts. We were given food that was rich and sweet to taste, and as we sat there eating, there came up through the clouds a man, tall as a tree and thin as a snake, with great teeth sticking out of his mouth, his body covered with short hair. We knew at once it was an evil spirit. And he said to the great spirit, I want half the people of the earth. And the great spirit answered and said, No, I cannot give you any. I love them all too much. The evil spirit asked again and was again refused and asked a third time, and the great spirit told him that he could have the whites to do what he liked with, but that he would not let him have any Indians, as they were his chosen people for all future time. And we were shown the dances and taught the songs that I am bringing to you, my brothers. We were led down the ladder of the clouds by him who had taken us up. We found our horses and rode back to the railroad, and Messiah flying along in the air with us and teaching us the songs for the new dances. At the railroad he left us and told us to return to our people and tell them and all the people of the Red Nation what we had seen. And he promised us that he would return to the clouds no more, but would remain at the end of earth and lead the ghosts of our fathers to meet us when the next winter is past.